My name is Daniel Chinagazi. I'm the Development Director at Pramnet Consult Limited. Today, I'm going to be talking on the topic, generating business ideas. Now, one key thing in starting up as an entrepreneur is, what idea are you going to be running on? What business do you want to do? Now, initially, we've talked about products and services. Now, you're going to key it in and to generate the ideas, to get out the ideas. And one way to get out a business idea is look around. Look around your environment, check the internet, check the trends. What are people crying for? What opportunities exist? And then you go look at the problem. After you've identified the problem, go sit down, develop a solution. And when you develop a solution, you bring the solution to the problem. Another thing you can do is you can identify this problem, have a clean cut demographic separation. Separate the community demographically. Now, identify what each of these group require. What services can I provide to um, children of age 0 to 3? You identify all the products they will need and all the services they need and you start brainstorming and go to the next age level, go to the next age level. Then bring all these ideas out and then you now start screening. You screen and check with, with respect to your skills and check with respect to your areas of interest and select like two or three ideas and then you subject these ideas to a test. I'm going to give us nine key tests we can subject these two or three business ideas we have selected so that we can come up with the perfect one. Number one is market availability. You need to ask yourself, is there enough market for this product or for this service I want to render? Do I have enough market that can go around to keep me in business? The next thing you need to ask yourself, availability of raw material. Is the raw material for these products I want to produce, is it available? Because if the raw material is not available, there is no need venturing into the business because you will be stuck. You will, maybe you have the raw material to produce. And another thing is, is it always available in enough quantity to guarantee that you always have product? And another thing you need to consider is availability of technology. The technology required for production or for to provide this service, is it available and at a good price? Is this something you can get locally or is this something that anytime you want to produce you have to travel and because you have to build in all these costs into, into your decision to start this business. And after you have considered technology, the next thing you need to uh, uh, consider is skill, availability of skill. Do I have the skill required for this business? If I don't add these this skills, are they available that I can recruit people that have the skill, both for the manpower and the skill. Do I have all the skills, the managerial skill, the, the, the implementing skill, the operational skill, every skill required for this, producing this product or for offering this service? Do I have it? Is it available? And then after considering the skill, you now come to yourself. Which of these businesses am I strategically fit for? For example, you know that you are not good with children and you say you want to start a crash. For example, if you want to be a trainer, you, you need to know how strong is your confidence naturally. How strong are you? How good are you with public speaking, talking with people? I know some of these skills can be learned, but the more you are strategically fit to the area of business you have interest in, the better. And then you need to check what's the ease of implementation of this business. There are some businesses that the ease of implementation is very, very high. You need to check the ease of implementation of the idea, the business you want to do. Is it is this something that will take me like three months to start and within that three months nothing is going to happen? Some will take like six years, some will take like one year, so you have to groom, take a long time before a business can really take off. These are actually decisions that startup entrepreneurs must put in place. Ensure the ease of implementation of this big idea is, 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 is low. If it is so high, you need to work for like three years before you make your first earning it's most likely not the best business for you as an entrepreneur to use as your first startup business. And then it's government priority. Any product or any service that does not have support of the government has a tendency of failing easily. But if the, there are some products, there are some services that the government is interested in, government are even promoting. For example, in Nigeria, the government is producing agriculture, promoting agriculture, promoting entrepreneurship, promoting training, promoting skill acquisition. Now, what you need to do is you will align yourself, you check and ensure that these businesses you will want to start 
is close to the areas of government priority. Another thing you know, must consider is cost benefit. The money I'm going to invest in this idea, the time, the skills, the people, everything, is it worth it? That's like gathering the previous points I've pointed out for us, all of them together, all the six points, and weigh it with respect to the technology I'm going to put into this, the time I'm going to put into it, the, the finance, the skill, the people's time I'm going to put into this. Is it going to be worth the while? You need to ask yourself this question. You need to go. And after you have done that, you now grade all these answers, all these questions. You, you, what you can do is you have your three business ideas on the top, one, two, three. And then you have these questions this way and you grade them. Maybe if it is the highest, you give it a five, followed by a three, and then followed by a one. Just give three, five, one. And at the end of the day, you calculate the one that has the highest. You are closer to making your business decision. And then you subject this business idea to a market survey. You go to the market and find out, ask questions. How, what, um, are there some people already doing this? How are they doing it? And another thing that is very important, get a coach, get a consultant, talk to someone. Call us on the phone. We'll be willing to talk to you. Thank you. I hope you have had a wonderful time with us in this series. What I want to tell you is that you can reach us over the phone. You can call us on 0803. 0907949 or you can visit us on www.palmnet.com as it's showing on your screen and uh, feel free to send us an email send me a personal email at daniel at and we'll get back to you we'll sure get back to you thank you very much